Disney's wonderful world of music. I'm Michael. And I'm Kristen. Today we're going to take you on a musical adventure. Together we'll explore all kinds of music, like classical, jazz, rock and roll. And that's just for starters. We'll also see and hear the instruments that make music. Okay, Michael, let's get started. Can you name three things a tuba, a French horn, a trombone, and a trumpet have in common? Easy. They're really loud. That's one. You have to blow into them to make a sound. Two down. And I look good playing any of them. Okay, but not quite what I was looking for. They're all made of brass. That's why it's called the Brass Family. Want to know more? I'm all ears. Strong and powerful, brass instruments make a big sound. All brass instruments are actually long metal tubes with a mouthpiece at one end and a bell shape at the other. Early musicians discovered they could wrap the long tube into coils without changing the sound that comes out. That makes it much easier to carry and play. To play a brass instrument, you purse your lips against the mouthpiece and blow. The air coming through the lips vibrates. That's where the sound comes from. The mouthpiece focuses the sound and directs it through the tube. By adding more coils of metal and connecting them with valves, brass players can change the length of the tubes and vary the pitch of their instrument. This led to the invention of today's modern brass instruments. You often see and hear brass instruments at big ceremonies like the Olympics. They're ideal for fanfares and military music because you can hear the bright, clear sound from far away. They're used for parades and sporting events, and no band or orchestra would be complete without brass. The four major brass instruments are the tuba, the trumpet, the French horn, and the trombone. But they have lots of important relatives like the bugle, the flugelhorn, piccolo trumpet, valve trombone, and baritone, just to name a few. So Michael, let's hear your tuba impression. How'd you do that? If I could play a brass instrument, I'd choose the trumpet. Why's that? I love the sound. It's really bright, and it's easy to carry around. Let's listen to a trumpet, tuba, and other members of the brass family play a familiar tune.
we've heard the whole brass family together, let's find out more about each instrument. The tuba is the largest and heaviest of the brass family and sounds a little like a foghorn. But for all its size, it can play surprisingly light, fast notes. By operating the three valves, the tuba player makes the pitch go higher or lower. The tuba's mouthpiece is huge and covers almost all the player's lips. The sousaphone is a tuba specially designed to be played while standing or walking. It curls around the player's head and rests on the shoulders so it can be carried in a marching band. The sousaphone was named for the man who invented it. John Philip Sousa was a famous band director and composer of marching music. Hey Kristen, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> but if you practice enough, look what can happen to you. The trumpet is very important in American music, and jazz being one of the important styles of American music that we find the trumpet. In fact, the very first important jazz musician is a legendary figure named Buddy Bolden. He didn't make any records, but we have pictures of him, and historical records of people describing him being the player who first had to improvise on the melody. What people said was where there was one note, he would add two. And from Buddy Bolden, we move on to a great legacy of trumpet players from New Orleans, King Oliver, and his most famous pupil, Louis Armstrong, who's really the father of all jazz music, as far as we know it, modern jazz players. And from there, Miles Davis and the like. So the trumpet's always been very, very important as a leader in jazz. Well, when I first started to pick out my instrument, when my mom told me to go pick something out, I picked the trumpet because it was shinier than everything else. I really wasn't aware of all the great things that are available on it. On the trumpet, you can make a variety of sounds. You can sing out over the band or play softer than anyone else. The trumpet gives you a lot of flexibility. And like I mentioned, just as far as being a jazz player, you're part of a great tradition, a great legacy of musicians that have really contributed a lot to our societies. In jazz music, the unique thing about that is that you do play some music that was already predetermined, but also you get a chance to improvise, which means to spontaneously create in a compositional way. Well, I think anyone can play a brass instrument. That's one of the important things to remember. Doesn't matter how big you are or small you are. Depending on the brass instrument, you're particularly got to stretch your arm real far out to get to seventh position. My brother-in-law was a very small child, and he actually found a way seventh position. So maybe you can do the trombone even as well, but really anyone can play a brass instrument. They're not inordinately heavy or inordinately difficult to play. If you can get your lips to buzz, then the brass instrument will work for you. When one of us walks into a room, it's no big deal. But when a president, prime minister, or queen enters the room, it calls for something special, something big, triumphant, Regal, a fanfare. Do you know why trombones march at the front of the parade? So they don't bump in anyone with their long slides. Let's take a closer look. Trombones are one of the oldest instruments. They've been around for about 500 years. The first thing you notice about the trombone is that it doesn't have valves. It has a slide to change notes. When the slide is in, the tube is short and the sound is high. When it's out, the tube is longer and the note is lower. Trombones are very expressive. They are often used for sad songs, but they have their funny moments too. Michael, can you name a few contributions from French culture? Another easy question. There's art, literature, Good. French fries, stinky cheese. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. You're going a bit off course. Here's a hint. Ah, uh, yeah. The French horn. 
Right, like you said, easy. You better pay close attention here. The French horn makes a unique sound, different from the other brass instruments. It's soft and mellow. It almost sounds far away. <laughs> That's because the player's hand is in the bell while playing. The valves are different too, see? The French horn uses keys instead of valves. The French horn is one of the most difficult to play of all the brass instruments, but no orchestra would be complete without at least four of them. with pure American roots. It exploded on the music scene in the 1920s and 30s. Right. Jazz has influenced almost every other form of music. Listen. <laughs> jazz musicians? Oh, let's see. Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, Dizzy Gillespie, Maynard Ferguson. Of course, all trumpeters. Let's find out more about my favorite brass instrument, the trumpet. The trumpet is the most popular member of the brass family. It's also the loudest and it plays the highest notes. Many consider the trumpet to be the dominant voice of a band or orchestra because of its power. But sometimes, a small sound works better, so the trumpeter uses a mute. We interrupt this video segment with a late-breaking story about the mute. We know that brass instruments can be loud, but can they play softly? Today, the answer is yes, thanks to the mute. Mutes come in different shapes and sizes. In fact, the mute for the tuba is big enough for a child to sit on. Music lovers and neighbors everywhere are thankful for the mute. We now return to the trumpet, already in progress. The trumpet has three valves to change the length of the tube. When a trumpet player pushes down a valve, it opens and allows the vibrating air to flow through the extra length of tubing. This changes the pitch of the note. Trumpeters use a combination of the three valves and different lip pressure or tightness to produce all the notes a trumpet can make. A good trumpeter can play amazingly fast. this next story. Take a look. Most recorded music today ends up on a CD or compact disc, but do you know how it gets onto the CD? Let's find out. It all begins in a recording studio. Musicians play their individual parts into a microphone or mic. The mic converts the sound waves into an electrical signal which travels through a wire to the control room. There, a these zeros and ones are transferred to a machine which reads the data and uses the numbers to etch tiny pits into the plastic on the CD master disc. Hey, Kristen, what you listening to? Hey, Kristen! Yes? What you listening to? Rock and roll with lots of brass. I didn't know brass could rock out. Sure, listen to this. If you close your eyes, you can almost see the band. <laughs> That 
was great. Seems like brass fits in with any kind of music. I sure learned a lot today. Me too. Let's go over it so we don't forget. There are four main brass instruments. What's the biggest? Uh, the tuba. Which one has a slide? The trombone. Which one do you play with your hand in the bell? French horn. And can you name the loudest, most popular of them all? That would be the trumpet. Right. They're all basically brass tubes with a mouthpiece you blow into and a bell at the other end. And we heard a fanfare, some jazz, and even rock and roll. Right again. But there's one other style that we haven't heard yet. Classical. <laughs> Are you inspired enough to start trumpet lessons? Maybe, but not now. It's been a busy day, Michael. The most important thing is to get your hands on a brass instrument. And put some music in your life. So, Kristen, what do you feel like doing later? Well, I thought I might check out the future core brass ensemble. They're playing down at the Fountain of Nations. Let's get them down to brass fast. Ouch, that was a terrible pun. Well, I was feeling kind of brassy today. Ugh.